tune to this. <laughs> We're going to take Thunderstruck, the beginning of Thunderstruck by ACDC, the Angus part. I'm going to show you the notes, and I'm going to show you how to incrementally make it a bit more difficult each time. And then it just, you do it to a metronome, and then, hey, what do you know? I'm playing music, and I have something to practice, and, you know, you find out what the actual BPM of the song is. Just kind of bump it above a little bit so that when you play it normally, it's, like, way easy. So, put on my clean sound for a minute. We're going to do one of these. So it's basically a fretted note and then a pulled off open B. Fret note, pull off open B. Um, so the first ones are four and seven. Everything takes place on the B string. Nice and slow. And I'm basically picking the fretted note and pulling off to the B open B. There, I'll, I'll do it with a bit of blitz. Uh, I think you do it eight times. And then you just slide your hand up from uh, four to seven to five to eight. to four and seven. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you got this guy. I'm gonna get close to the camera. We'll put on the jazz sounds and we'll go. I'll, I'll play the order of the notes and then just remember to uh, pull off to an open, open B string. So it's gonna be 12, 10, 9, 9, 10, suggest you use the, the exact fingers that I'm using. So a lot of it is one and three. Except there, you've got one and two. Four, five, four, five, four, five, four. And then I think it's here, I, there's a one and two with the nine and ten. But it doesn't last long. Whoops. done four times in a row. I think it's done four times in a row. Anyways, so the first way I would suggest you play this, if you want, you don't have to do any of this shit. I'm just trying to be a helpful guy. Um, if you can just practice all left hand and you take your... Um, your middle finger and you'll mute the underside of the high E. You'll take your pick and actually uh, touch on the G string. So that the only string that's ringing out and you use your, use this part, use this part of your um, right hand to, to pretty much mute. You just want to mute everything except the B string. However you do that, that's up to you. Um, I think that also comes with just naturally playing the guitar, you'll learn how to mute stuff. Um, I guess be wary of it, but I don't know. I'm self-taught, so you just learn these things along the way. Um, okay, so now just... I'm not playing in time, obviously. I mean, if it 
to the slow enough tempo, if you want to be really insane, you can just try to like do it all with one finger. <laughs> Uh, if you want to kick it up a notch, and I think this is the way Angus does it. Don't quote me on that. I haven't heard the song in a while. I think he picks all the fretted notes. Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, maybe he picks all of them. And with that, it's going to be alternate picking, starting on a downstroke. So all the open string Bs are going to be an upstroke. Cool thing about that is that you can mute it a bit. That kind of a thing. That's it. That's three ways to, I don't know, take ACDC and make it a fun thing that doesn't have to be chromatic scale to a metronome. I mean, yeah, obviously, probably do use a metronome. Like, it should be your best friend, really. Do I use a metronome? Not as much as I should. I'm sorry. But I'm also daddy busy. All right. Questions or comments, leave them below. Please subscribe to my channel. I should have said that in the beginning, but you know me. I'm dumb. Uh, there you go. Like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Love you. Bye.